Republican state lawmakers in Harrisburg are proposing new legislation, which they say aims to curb violent crime across Pennsylvania. Fox 43's Alyssa Kretz joining us now with details of what they're planning. Evan, that's right. House Republicans gearing up to introduce several bills they say use a four-pronged approach to fix an issue affecting both big cities and small town communities across our state. Prevention, policing, prosecution, punishment. These four pillars are what Pennsylvania House Republicans are using to build a new package of bills they say will tackle crime across the Commonwealth. This topic is incredibly important to every Pennsylvanian. We've heard it consistently time and time again as we're out talking with constituents and meeting with them. On Monday, caucus representatives focused on the first prong, prevention. Speaking on soon to be legislation, which would do things like promote and create community crime stopper programs in all 67 counties, allowing those who witness crimes to report information anonymously. The fear of, be, of repercussions, the fear of, well, if I tell what I know, I'm going to be harmed or my family is going to be harmed. We need to protect those individuals. Other proposed bills would authorize neighborhoods watch programs that allow law enforcement to provide volunteers with training in reporting practices. Law enforcement is a bipartisan issue. Community safety is a bipartisan issue. Those issues are ones that Republicans and Democrats can support. The move comes at what may seem like an odd time as the current legislative session winds down, but Republicans say this is the exact time to take action. Major legislation requires constant work. We're preparing now not only for the end of this session, but for the beginning of the next session, which ironically begins on the 1st of December, not more than a few weeks after the election. Now is when people are upset. They are mad that they're seeing folks that are not being prosecuted. They're seeing folks, be, they're victims themselves, and they're not feeling that the justice system is working for them. And I did reach out to House Democrats asking for an interview for this story, but they did decline to discuss the topic. Alyssa Kratz, Fox 43 News. Evan. All right, Alyssa, thank you very much.